Okay, let's try again. And um, I'm gonna chat with Mimi today. And there we go, okay. Let's try this again. We're gonna chat with Mimi today, the founder of Mimi's Kids Yoga in Atlanta. And I see she's here and she has updated her app. Here and do all the things that need to be done. All right, so let's see if this works. Oh, I see you. Yes. Can, you. can I hear can you? Can you hear me? See. <laughs> Yay! I can hear you. I can hear you. I can oh, see you. Oh, my goodness. That's hilarious. We did it. We, we did, did it. it. It's so funny. It. And I needed to update anyway. I'm on my iPad. I think it's updated on my phone. But for whatever reason, I needed to update it on my iPad. So that's why I was like, let's do a few minutes before for these little, you know, these little hiccups. Hi, friends. I see a lot of my friends. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Yay. Yay. I actually didn't even know you could do it on your iPad. I thought you had to do it on your phone. So yeah, I just learned iPad, something new as well. Bigger, you know, I can see. Yeah, it's on my phone. It's so yeah. small. It's like, yeah, these eyes. I mean, I have to wear reading glasses for everything lately. I mean, ever since, especially since the pandemic started, I like I can't know. see anything lately. So I know. this is me always. <laughs> How are you? Are I you am not. I'm right actually now? at home. I have like a little space in my closet um, during uh, the pandemic, you know, that I created where I could do virtual things. And so I still yeah. use it for things like this. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to have yeah. this little space. If I turned it around, you would be like, oh, yeah, that's a closet. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we, we all have it. You'll probably hear my doorbell ringing. Hey, my screaming. it's I okay. Mean, COVID this, this taught life. us that it's okay. <laughs> so we have, we have real lives, right? Yeah. 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 And we have to keep living them. So this is where we are. How have you noticed? So I want to, I don't even know where to start. You're a kid's yoga teacher. And I, in our brief uh, intro earlier, I said, I wish there had been yoga when I was a kid. I mean, I'm sure there was, it just wasn't something that we did. I mean, we went to the playground, but if I had had this practice when I was a kid, I mean, I feel like my whole Tell me about it. <laughs> and I started Mimi's Yoga Kids with, with the foundation and core of teaching kids but I have grown now into teaching everybody so I say kids from newborn mm. to 105 um, I teach now and so yeah wow. it, it's just been amazing how it has turned into that and so I'm really really thankful I teach babies all the way to seniors so it, it's a great it's a great place to be <laughs> yeah and how did you get started? I mean, it's a very specific thing to do. I mean, you started with kids. And how did you even get into yoga? Did you have a practice? Did someone introduce Yes, I had a practice kind of off and on, you know, it kind of went like this because I was a stay-at-home mom. And so it was something that I kind of found early on. And I would do it kind of like in spurts, you know. But then um, in 2014, going into 2015, something pretty traumatic happened in my life. And so yoga was what I turned to. It wasn't the very first thing that I turned to, but I eventually started doing yoga and I got yeah. on the mat. And it was just one of those things that really, truly got me through a tough time in my life. And so now it is my goal and mission wow. to, you know, introduce that to other people. You know, it's not a cure-all, but it is something that with consistency, nice. you know, and just making it your practice, don't worry about what anybody else is doing it, make it your personal practice. I can almost guarantee you that it can, it, it will change your life. It will impact your life in a way where it will make things better, you know, and I'm, I'm a living testament to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. And that's amazing. And I love that you say that it wasn't mm -hmm. the first thing you turned to, you know, and it was like, and I think that there's a lot of people will try a couple of things. And eventually, if you land on yoga, you kind of never leave. <laughs> I mean, you might take short breaks. But once you're like, wow, this is yeah. really powerful stuff. It's just it's it's transformative. And then you made it your life's work, which is 
even more what did you do i always say like in your previous in your previous life or did you have any goals that you had before uh, you i've a always teacher? wanted to be an entrepreneur you know i've done so many different things i would sell mm. avon i sold this i sold that i would you know i had an organizing business a cleaning bit you know so i've always had that entrepreneur spirit um, but how it kind of landed with yoga. And before that, you know, I was a single mom, not a single mom. Well, I was a single mom at one time, but I was a stay at home mom, then a single mom. And then I had to go back into the workforce. And so I worked in the medical field and my last job was um, in pediatrics. So I was around kids all the time. I loved oh, kids wow. and I was in a space where, you know, I had a lot of connection with parents. And so that was another thing too, that I knew mm -hmm. because I saw kids coming in with anxiety and, and all these things, you know, and, you know, sometimes they just want to give yeah. kids like a bunch of medication and doing different things. And I'm like, you know, there has mm. to be a different way, you know, um, another I'm not yeah. I'm not downplaying that in any way because we all need what we need but you know in some instances I'm like yeah. it, there's a I think there's a better way and so I just knew that I wanted to do this because I have a grandson well, I have four grandchildren now but at the time I had one grandson and he would do yoga with yeah. me and I saw the benefits yeah. that it gave him so I was like need this they're our future and so it just started with, yeah. you know, one small little party at my house. And then it has turned into mm. this um, 2022 and we're thriving. We're thriving. And I'm so, I'm so proud of it. I'm really wow. proud of it because <laughs> it's something yeah. that, um, yeah, it's something that Absolutely. Is, it's my purpose. It's my purpose and my mission. And when you find that, I wake up every day and it doesn't feel like work you know I'm just doing what brings me joy mm. so it's it's a wonderful place to be it's a wonderful place to be <laughs> I love that did you notice since you you were doing this before the pandemic so during the pandemic how did it change like I mean you you had to probably close your studio at least for a little while but did you notice a change in kids or or, or in people oh in my general goodness in yes the so the, the space that I have the yoga space that I have I've just gotten that so I was mobile I was just going everywhere mm. schools daycare centers senior citizen facilities parks anywhere chick-fil-a it didn't matter <laughs> anywhere yeah. anywhere you could spread a mat <laughs> out I would yeah. go because I firmly believe you know yeah yoga is for everybody and you can do you can do yoga anywhere you know so I was mobile and I, I still am you know because I firmly believe in taking yoga to people I don't expect people to come to me it's my job and my responsibility to take yoga mm. out into the world so I didn't have a space and so when everything shut down how, how am I gonna get to my to my community to my people my babies my kids and so we pivot and we started doing things mm. virtually, you know, I was able to create a little space that mm. I have now was in the basement at first. And I did like little camps, little mindfulness mm -hmm. breaks, all the things, the only ones I had a hard time getting mm. to was my seniors during the pandemic. Cause they're like, mm. we're not doing virtual. I, I don't mm. I'm, I'm not logging on. Right. I'm, I'm not doing that. So we would right. meet in the park. Yeah. Cold. We would have on jackets. Mm. We would, tables out um it's a community that I serve five 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 my seniors and we did that for about a year out in the cold hats on but we would warm our hands up we would listen to music and we would move our bodies yeah. you know and that that was their saving grace because they were able to be in community they weren't wow. alone they were getting fresh air they were getting vitamin d and so that mm. that was major you know because seniors a lot of times they're alone yeah you know we couldn't we couldn't get to people like mm. we normally could so we just did we were like hey right. let's just meet in the park in atlanta's kind of we have little spurts where it gets really really cold but for the most part it's it's not if you right. put on jackets usually by the end of right. the day you're taking half that stuff off so <laughs> yeah yeah, I don't think of Atlanta as like a cold place, but I've never been. And and I'm like, what do you consider cold? Yeah, see, like I'm, from the, I'm, from Mobile, I'm from the <laughs> south, so it's like 50 degrees. I'm like, woo. Right. You know, anybody else is like, girl, this feels good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. I was like, I had in a jacket. Melissa, she's so sweet. When we did the shoot, we were freezing. She's like, this feels yeah. great. I was like, yeah. I need 
some hot cocoa <laughs> and a hat and some gloves. And she's like, this feels amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and thank you for mentioning that. So you are actually one of the teachers we are featuring in our Atlanta Spotlight. So thank you for that. And thank you for joining that shoot. And it's we spotlight three places in each issue. And in this issue, we spotlight Atlanta, we spotlight Tokyo, and we spotlight Boston. So we have a nice range of areas that we're spotlighting. And I, you got, and look, I wish I could have been there. The shoot looked like so much fun. What was that area that so you we were, were in? We were at Pond City shoot? Market. Um, it's a really cool uh, space mm -hmm. in Atlanta, like downtown Atlanta. And so uh, we decided to do it there because it's just one of those places that, you know, it's nice and open and you get that city, that city vi yeah. uh, feel or vibe, uh, I should say. So that's where we were. And it was, it was really nice. It was a lot of fun. And I was so happy, you know, thank you so much for the opportunity. And I was so happy to be in the space again with those two um, teachers because we did another thing together. And so it was really nice to um, have that opportunity. Amazing. So did you know, we you did, did we actually before, did, right? um, we had Peace Week here yeah. in Atlanta. And so we were able to do um, some activities and we did yoga with the mayor and so Melissa um, came, she came. And so she got to, yeah. you know, be in that yeah. space, um, meet us, kind of see how we work and what we do. And then she presented this opportunity to yeah. us. So it, it's amazing. And I, it, it's so Yay. beautiful how it works because I got the magazine in New York and I was like, oh my God, this is so nice. Yeah. I would love to, you know, be in this magazine and here I am, you know, so super, super excited. And I have to mm. shout out Melissa for uh, making that possible. Yes, Melissa, Melissa. So for anyone that's listening, Melissa is from our team and she lived in New York for many years and recently moved to the Atlanta area. And that's how we really figure out what areas to spotlight because she lives there and she, she knows the community and she's getting to know everyone there. And it wasn't like a random place that we chose, you know, it's, it has to have meaning and significance significance to us um so we're so excited to do that um you know the last issue we did how did you get the last issue I was, you New York? were you here for so fast I feel like you were I here down yeah with that's my right friends. um yeah. yoga mazia she's um in the philadelphia area yeah. so she invited me yeah. to go to that and that was amazing and so i i, yeah. I was able to get the so yeah, you, oh, I in the rain we made, we made it work we made it work <laughs> So I was, I was able yeah. to meet uh, Diane. It was just an amazing opportunity and having, and Karma yeah. Kids Yoga, like I love, I love her music. Yeah. I've been playing her, her music since day one. Yeah. So um, it's just amazing wow. how life works, right? Everything is just kind of full circle. So I know that this is where I'm supposed it really to be. Is. <laughs> yeah. And that's such a great feeling. I mean, to really, this is what I love about talking to you yoga teachers and studio owners and, and anyone that works in the wellness space. And I say this all the time, people don't work in wellness because they have to, they do it because they want to, and they can't imagine anything else. You know, very few people do it and then say, Oh, I think I'll become a I know, right? lawyer. You know, it's usually the other way around. And there's so much excitement and so much passion for it. And it's still work. You know, you have a lot of things to do. And, and I love that you, you know, even when things, when the um, pandemic hit and you were saying, the seniors would meet at the park. It's like, you make it work. You figure it out and you're constantly on your toes. And there's so much community and passion amongst the people that you just, you do it. You do it in the cold in your parkas. You do it in the rain, like soul fest. Like when it started pouring and there was a hurricane, I was like, I know, this right? I did not anticipate. Like we just, this was not a, we don't get a lot of hurricanes in New York City, especially in, but there we were and people showed up and I was just like, my heart was so full that day when I saw people under a tent in the rain. I know, we're gonna meditate. Right? You know? I know, the power and the power of community, yeah. you know, um, the power of community. It was just, it was beautiful. It was beautiful yeah. to um, connect and to be in that space. Yeah. So I was, I was really happy, rain or shine. We, we were there because I had bought a plane ticket. Yeah. And I had spent my, so gonna be there <laughs> yeah. yeah that's amazing so what's in the future for you are you like what are your hopes are you going to expand to another space do you want to travel the country are there retreats oh or what wow. are you excited about there's so much there's so much that you know I want to do yeah. I have like a, a vision board that I, I just put things down 
And I firmly mm. believe if it's meant to be, it will be, you know, so I would mm. love to travel the country, you know, and travel the world teaching mindfulness and meditation and yoga, you know, to kids. Um, but my biggest thing is we got to, mm. we got to reach, we got to do here first. <laughs> We got to take care of home mm, first, you know, yeah, um, yeah. I'm big on once I feel like home is good and I, you know, then I, I want to go out um, right. into the world and just keep providing, you know, light and hope and love, you know, because this world is mm. it's a crazy place. It's a crazy place, but there's so much love and there's so much community yeah. and there's so much, you know, light that we can still grab gravitate towards and so I strive every day to be mm. that light like hey come over here come over here the light I, you know I have a little light over here come yeah. over here <laughs> so yeah and yeah. having the space the uh, community yoga space just offering yoga you know free or very low cost for people that otherwise may not be able to mm. um afford it or the opportunity so that's very very important to me and then my last thing, um, mm. I got to get into the correctional facilities. Mm. I would not be here today. It, yeah, that's part of what I wow. went through. Yeah. You know, um, I wasn't incarcerated, but my, my yeah. oldest daughter was um, mm. for a crime she didn't commit. Mm. And so yoga was what kind of yoga kept, oh. kept me going. It kept me in a mental space yeah. to be able to not only take care of myself, but to take care of my children, yeah. my grandson, and even her, you know, right. in that in that time. And so yeah. yoga, I will always, <laughs> I will always give kudos to yoga, you know. Um, yep. Yeah. So those are some, those are some things. Yeah, oh, just, my God. Just being in a space That's to just beautiful. allow others to heal. I firmly believe heal yeah. people, heal people, you know. And through my own healing, and I'm yeah. I'm healing every day. Yeah, I'm able to uh, to create a space for others to heal too. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I I love that. We I, I, that's that's. I mean, I'm just I'm floored by that. That was amazing. We um I I want to connect you. I don't know if you know um Bree. She works here in oh. New York City. I don't know if you've ever met her. She actually works, um, sh she goes into the correctional facilities and she teaches yoga um, as well. And so there's like a big network of people that are doing that here in New York. And I don't know if they know anyone, Emil and I, but I'd love to connect you guys. She is an amazing person and that she does the same thing. And it's just, it, that work is just to me, it's so beautiful mm -hmm. and it's so needed. Everyone needs yeah. yoga. I mean, we all need it. We're all going through something. But when I see it, there in those spaces it's just my heart is so full and it's it breaks a little but it's also full it's I, like a, it's trust me i know thing, how it can be both because it's a, po a population that you know people just yeah. don't really think about um but at the end of the day they're human too yeah. you know and they deserve peace yeah and they deserve light in the midst yeah. of all that darkness they deserve it you know because at yeah. the end of the day, you know, um, for whatever reason, why that's that's not for me to judge. That's not for me to. That's not mm. for me. For me, I just want to provide some love and some light and some joy, even if it's just for thirty minutes. You know that that can change. That can change yeah. somebody's life, somebody's day. You know, um, so that's very near yeah. and dear to my heart. And you know the universe is just working, so I'm just like, do do what you do, universe. Do I'm, I'm ready when you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So it was so great chatting with you. And I have to say, this morning I was in a little bit of a of a just. I think with the holiday being done and feeling a little tired, and, and just speaking with you and just feeling your enthusiasm and your love and your light, I feel replenished just speaking to you. <laughs> so, accomplished. <laughs> thank you for that. And I hope yes, peace, uh, Bree from Urban Peace Squad. So I'm going to send you that information as well, and I'm going to I want to connect you guys. I just feel like you're Yay. you should know each other um, and make some magic happen. Um, but thank you so much for chatting and we're so excited to feature you and your amazing work in our next issue, which will launch in June, which <laughs> it takes us a long time. Sorry, everybody, but you know, we have full time Yay! jobs and lives and all these things and everyone volunteers. So it will be out in June and you'll be able to pick up copies in Atlanta. So, um, thank you so much for 
chatting with us this morning for your support and for uh, letting us showcase you Thank in our you next so issue. much for having me. Thank you. It's been a pleasure talking to you and meeting you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yes. Thank you. And we will share this on our page and I will email you the link when we upload it to YouTube. So if anyone wants to catch it later, um, connect with me if you're in the Atlanta area. Do you still offer um, virtual sessions as well? Virtual classes? I do not a lot. I mean, I will. I have no yeah. problem. But, you know, everybody now wants to get out and move in and, you know, so um, virtual, not so much, but it, I, I do still offer it. So absolutely. <laughs> Great. So you can connect with her if you are not in the Atlanta area as well. <laughs> Any way you can connect with Amy. And thank you so much thank for you. joining us this morning. Bye. You too. Have a good 